Glenn Schaefer here, and we're on the set of uh, writer-actor Brent Butt's new feature comedy. It's a noir mystery comic thriller called No Clue. This whole night, Leo and Kyra are moving up the dock, in the dark, trying to find out where the villain's boat is, and they're peering, and you know, we film them kind of heading up this way, and then she has to actually swim and climb up onto the boat, sort of a secret, you know, she's like a spy, right? You're gonna get the boat on the water at some point for your big climax, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right, not today. It's all broken down yeah, into tiny minutiae. So today's just a few pieces, and tomorrow we have a, a, a boat that goes beside this boat. We put a crane on the, the, on the picture boat, on the, on, the, on, the, on the support boat, and we film these amazing shots off this crane on the water. We can't wait. So you have had more toys to play with on this movie than probably your last four movies than, combined. Than any movie, really. <laughs> I mean, no, it's, yeah, like all this stuff is new to me. I didn't know they put cranes on a boat, but the dude who brought the photo in of the boat we were going to use, had a picture of a crane on the boat. So I'm like, wait a minute, you can put a crane on that boat? I want that crane. So, David Cubitt, you uh, play an ambiguous character in a, sort of a noir mystery, which makes it, I guess, hard to talk about that character, but what can you tell me? Uh, yeah, I play, uh, I play the leader of a, a large corporation uh, who stands to gain um, from from the mystery that ensues in, and is there, is implicated in, in a murder and we really need to, to believe that that horn my character is is uh, you know has a dark side is capable of anything to get what he wants to get um, for the uh, for, for the, the suspense to, to really pay off. So you are not going for laughs in this comedy? No, no, not at all. Nobody in this movie you're in is what they seem. Till, dude, so your character, what, do you see, what does your character seem like, this Kyra person? Kyra seems like a very sweet, distressed young woman who is missing her uh, brother and wants to find him. But she turns up. To, she turns out to have, I gather, some 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 physical skills up her sleeve. But then Kyra, you start to find out that she's a quite complicated, trained uh, fighter who sometimes steals things. <laughs> so uh, Brent, Brent Butt, if I may call you that, you. Hello. <laughs> you play a guy named Leo in this movie. Tell me a little bit about Leo. Leo's a... Well, I think at the end of the... I'm biased, but I think Leo's a good egg. He's a good guy. He's maybe not the sharpest marble in the pouch, but he's a good uh, good dude. He's a uh, type of guy I think that you could trust. You, you maybe wouldn't come to him to solve any of your problems in life, but you could trust him with your secrets or what have you. And... Um, He's an everyman, regular Joe. At the end of the day, he's uh, he's good with people, but and just maybe not that. And 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 to but to start out, he's a trustworthy guy. But to start out the movie, he basically does an untrustworthy thing, I would think. Well, that's a matter of perception. Does he pretend to be somebody he's not? He he lets that perception live. Let's put it that way. He he doesn't go out of his way to stop the notion that he's somebody he's not. And by the time he realizes he should tell the truth about this, it's too late and he's in over his head. And then he's just, look, he's a victim of circumstance.